Well, inside the department, Donna, bureaucrats believe that they've accomplished a lot on everything from cleaner water to faster internet in remote communities. But those same bureaucrats worry they have a communications problem. In documents obtained by Global News, bureaucrats worry that, quote, communicating effectively about indigenous issues can be difficult, complex, subject to different interpretations by different audiences. And the bureaucrats warn that, quote, fake news and bot accounts that spread disinformation on social media. All of that getting in the way of letting Canadians know about the progress the government believes it has made, such as 505 water projects built that are helping 582 Indigenous communities, 174 new or renovated schools in 224 communities, 207 health care facilities built or being built in 164 communities, and more than 16,000 new housing units built, but four times that, or another 69,000, are still needed. The Liberal government has done more for First Nations people in the last four or five years than anybody else in the last 40 years. I can say that because it's factual. Does that mean we're done? No. No, indeed. There continues to be high-profile delays or persistent problems, like at Grassy Narrows First Nation in Northern Ontario, where two years ago, the Trudeau government promised to build a 24-bed nursing home to care for those affected with mercury poisoning. Sick patients are still waiting or must end their lives in a nursing home six hours away in Thunder Bay. So far, this has been going nowhere. It's been at a standstill. It will be up to the newly minted Indigenous Services Minister, Mark Miller, to push that and other files forward. We have a lot we've promised and a lot we need to deliver. But we'll also be listening and continuing to meet with you. Canada must, and I will, take responsibility for years of inaction. Now, the chiefs that Mark Miller spoke to said... They appreciated his tone, they liked his humility and the Trudeau government's overall approach. But they were equally insistent that kind words are no replacement for urgent action. 